happened? <gasps> Electricity flicked off all over the world. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Ellie bought you a present. All my troubles seem wow. so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. When did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? John, Paul, George and Ringo, the Beatles. No. Stop it. Yesterday. It's one of the greatest songs ever written. Well, it's not Coldplay. It's not Fix You. Do you genuinely not know who the Beatles are? Genuinely. Then I'm in a really, really, really complicated situation. I enjoyed your performance as Jack so much in this movie. Thank you. Talk to me about how you related with him as an artist yourself. Well, he's got this imposter syndrome running through the movie. You know, of course, it, with his imposter syndrome, it's quite rational because he did steal all the songs, whereas for me, it's kind of uh, a bit irrational because, I mean, I don't think I've stolen anyone's acting. Um, I guess I did steal some songs from the movie, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so I guess there's a bit of that that I could relate to, that every now and then I look around and I go, what am I doing here, you know, but, yeah. Well, I understand that, you know, when you got this part, you weren't really all that familiar with the Beatles catalogue. Not extensively, yeah. I, I knew Sgt Pepper's, I knew bits of the White Album, um, and all the singles, you know, that everyone knows. But in terms of the full breadth of their work and all the albums, you know, Inside Out, I didn't really know them as well as I do now. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking... Oh, oh, sorry, love, I'll get it. Mm. Good start, love. Very pretty. It's Terry! Oh. Terry! Oh, yeah. Terry! Hey. Jack's just playing us a new song. Oh, what's this one called? Leave it be. Let it be. Oh, excellent. Well, rock on, Jack. When I find myself in times of trouble... Would you like a drink, Terry? Dad. Well, I'd already heard that bit. Yeah, I'll get a beer, please, Jed. Excellent. Carry on, Jacko. I'll be back. Hurry it up, darling. You're losing the crowd. <laughs> when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes... Hello, love. I'm just at uh, Jed and Sheila's house listening to Jack's new song. Let him be. Let it be. Let it be. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll call you back when it's over, all right? All right, carry on broadcasting, young man. Maybe start after the first bit. I've heard it three times. Christ, this is Let It Be! You're the first people on earth to hear this song! Oh, that'll be Marge. Oh, oh she said oh, she was going to come round. Well, that's well, right. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that went well. It's from the start of your studying and to the end of, you know, listening to all these songs and learning them. What would you say is your favourite Beatles song? My favourite Beatles song? It's, it's tough because it, I feel like it changes every five minutes, really. But out of the ones that I had to learn for the movie, I'd probably go for Long and Winding Road. I think just because I was quite intimidated by it. I didn't know whether I was going to be any good at, at, at you know, playing it on the piano and, and whether I'd get there, and I did, which I'm, I'm quite proud of that. And then I'm really, I really love where it sits in the movie. You know, it's a really lovely, moving moment, I think. Talk to me about working with Danny Boyle. I mean, he's, he's legendary. Yeah, he is. But he's such a great guy and so kind and generous that, you know, I don't think he necessarily embraces his legendary status you know <laughs> we all call him a legend because he is he's you know he's a national treasure but um he's he's a very nice man and 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 he didn't kind of pressure me in any way i wasn't ever intimidated by him he's he was nothing but supportive and you know he had seemed to have a silent belief in my ability from the beginning and that was that was invaluable really on this journey as a musician and an artist though like having to like push through that Talk to me about the starting point and the ending point. Like, how did you grow? It, I grew in confidence. I think it, you know, it was a, it was one of those where I, I'd gotten the part and I, I knew, okay, I guess I was the right guy for the role. I and mean, I've got to step up to the plate here. I've got to learn all these songs. Um, you know, some I was intimidated by, and, and others I, I thought, okay, well, I, I know how to do it. Maybe as a copy, but I've got to make my own version of this song. You know. But as I say, I was well supported, but I found it within myself to do it and I thrived on the challenge and that's something that I learned about myself is that clearly if something's put in front of me and someone says you've got to do it, 
I'm, but I believe in you, then then uh, I guess I I guess I can do that now. Well, yeah. it was a beautiful job. Thank you so much. Thank Yesterday you. is in theaters on June twenty eighth. This is Carolyn. Thank you. Thank you. I've been waiting half my life for you to wake up and love me. But I'm a school teacher. You are the world's greatest singer songwriter. I'm not. Except for you are. It's going to be the greatest album of all time. I've got two men who claim that the songs are theirs. Let's see how this plays out, shall we? Please make some noise for Mr. Jack Mallet. Let me just give you this advice. Song title. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Are you sure? Hey, dude. That's so much better. Do -de -do -de -do -de.